Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExodeAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Selenium 4 with C Sharp video series. In this video, we'll be talking about how we can actually set the header or additional header for our website at the same time how we can actually uh, set a user agent uh, for our website using the CDP or Chrome DevTool protocol support of Selenium 4. So once again guys Selenium 4 is currently in the beta stage right now and we updated the whole package in our earlier video so if you have not watched that video please go ahead and watch over there because that's super important because we have did a lot of changes in our earlier video so please make sure you watch that video because this video is going to be confusing if you don't all right so now that we have everything over here like the cdp is being set and everything is done and now the next option that we're going to be doing is we are going to do an setting additional headers for our exit automation website so in order to do that i'm just going to call this test and i'm going to say public void set additional headers and you can see that in most of our code we are basically going to be doing exactly the same thing like copy pasting these two like domains and enable the command settings like that and only after that we're going to be performing the operation so something like if i'm going to set the extra header so i'm just going to say like extra header is equal to new of the network dot uh, headers something like this and you can see that there are so many methods comes in and then i'm going to say extra header uh, dot add and this is where i'm going to be adding the header basically and i'm going to say the header name is going to be uh probably execute hacked something like that so i'm just gonna probably set a header which is going to be completely breaking uh our website uh and then i'm just gonna say domains dot network dot set you can see there are so many different options comes in like you can set extra header set data limit for the test set cookie and all those things you can do almost everything using the cdp and i'm going to basically do the set extra header http and i'm going to say new because you are going to be doing this you need to call the network dot set extra header settings and i'm just going to do this all right and over here on this particular property i'm gonna say i'm gonna set the headers which is going to be something about the extra header that i have added uh oops over here that's it so once this is done i'm gonna call the website which is nothing but our exit automation website and to just prove the point this is basically a secure socket layer website because it's http yes all right and now if i try running this test you will see that the site once again is going to break pretty much like how we saw in our earlier video where the site was not even loading but this time you will see that the site is going to break as well and i will show you what's really happening behind the scene you can see that the site is not loading it says we cannot connect to the internet please make sure your internet connection is working and try again actually the site loads guys it's not loading at the moment the reason being if you go to the network over here and if you just try to filter the execute hacked something like that over here you can see that in all our requests even for a single image for the svg which has been went we have actually set a header name like execute hacked so we have we are trying to hack our website with the wrong header information so this is what is happening at the moment like it's it's couldn't be able to really load any of the details like even the manifest file you can see it has the header of execute hack there so the site is not going to allow you to do that because the site is not really built for that particular header and it's breaking so this is the way that you can set an extra header for your uh, website if you really wanted to uh, and you can test your site like if it doesn't really accept any extra header like how we are testing it over here and as i told you before while the video was beginning that we are always trying to set these two uh, lines of code for each and every operation that we are doing so why not we can just uh, cut this particular piece of code or because this is going to be a dev tool session domains which is going to be something like protected dev tools session domains dev so probably i'm going to say dev tools 
session something like this i can just do that and i can cut this particular piece of code from here and i can paste them something like this and we're going to call this as dev tool sessions and i'm going to say the same thing for this one as well all right uh, so this should be all right now so we're going to use this particular domain or dev tool sessions for all our code execution so i'm just going to get rid of these lines once again and i'm going to pass this dev tool session over here so you can see that our code is getting a bit more understandable this time so we can put all of the setup information over here and we can try running this test and we can see how it actually works so that's it guys this is how we can actually uh, try to work with uh, the setting of the extra header with our test and we can see how the test is actually breaking so now the site has been broken and everything is looking good i mean at least in terms of setting the extra header but now we're going to do one more test of this time what we're going to do is we are going to set an additional user agent so if you can see in any of the website there is going to be something called as an user agent so i'm probably going to show you in a working website like how it's going to look like so if you just go to the website over here uh, inspect and if you just go to the network um, let me try refreshing it again and just do a control F for the user agent something like this uh, you can see that every website comes with a user agent of Mozilla 5.0 um, yeah and then Chrome 90 something like that so because this is a Windows machine it has got a different uh, agents altogether so what if I want to set an user agent uh, for probably iPhone or iPad OS so I can do that as well for this website so for doing that I'm gonna search for set user agent or maybe a user agent for uh, iOS something like that so if you search you will end up over here developers.whatsmybrowser.com website and here you can see for the iOS or the iPhone you can probably use this user agent so this is a very commonly used uh, user agent it seems the popularity so i'm going to use this one to set our user agent in our website so uh, let's see how we can do that so for doing that once again i'm just going to write a method public void set user agent and i'm just going to do something like dev tool sessions dot network dot set user agent override and over here i'm actually going to call the new network dot set user agent override command setting which is this one and on this particular method i'm actually going to call the user agent so this is the user agent where we are going to be setting the user agent that i just copied which is nothing but the iphone's user agent so once I do that, you will see that I'm actually going to be calling this particular user agent to be set as a part of uh, the request which I'm actually going to be sending. So let's see how this is going to work. So I'm just going to call the driver uh, URL over here. And then I can set here the test, which is all good. And now let's try to run this. I'm going to put a header uh, breakpoint there so you can see that the site is going to start loading so we go to the network oops control f and let's search for the user agent over here and within this particular user agent you can see that this time the user agent is actually for iphone cpu iphone OS something like that so basically it is trying to set the user agent even though I'm using a Windows machine so this way we can actually test how the application behaves based on different operating systems or different environments so this is one of the requirement which we need to go through while we do the testing because most of our testing like analytics like Adobe Analytics testing or site core testing or Google Analytics testing requires what agent which we really use while testing the application and with this CDP power in our Selenium 4 we can actually set the user agent 
something like this and we can test it we can also do some sort of assertions if you wanted to like whether the user agent is being actually set or not so in order to do that we can actually do some sort of wait something like this uh, and i'm actually going to uh, set the manual uh, reset event slim and then i'm just going to add this uh, event handler and over here i'm actually going to do an assert that e dot request dot headers of the user agent is or contains like does contain um, something like a CPU iPhone 12 OS something like that probably I'm not gonna put the whole thing but I'm just gonna say if this is gonna be CPU iOS 12 something like that uh, so this is the assertion which I'm gonna be doing and I'm also gonna say the request sync dot set over here so that it just syncs and I can also wait for the particular event to happen and because this is an event we need to actually handle this as well like dev tools dot um network dot request will be sent to do a request um event handler something like that and i'm just gonna say request sync dot wait of time span from second probably six seconds or something like that I'm just gonna say some seconds over there so let's try to do if the assertion works fine or not. And you can see that the testing is actually passing and the application is also loading fine without any problem, which is quite cool. So this is how we can actually perform an user agent set operation uh, using the Chrome DevTool protocol and we can verify whether the user agent has been set on our website. So that's it guys, this is how we can actually use the power of the Chrome DevTool protocol uh, based on different versions. Again, the Chrome DevTool protocol with Selenium 4 is still in beta stage. It's not released yet, like a full version. So while the full version comes in, probably in a couple of months or maybe in a year, uh, there's going to be even more breaking changes. Probably I'll cover that as well as a separate video. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.